Hello YouTube. Uh, my last camping trip, one of the things that didn't work was my uh, power trolley inverter. And i uh, been in touch with the manufacturers. I am in fact not going mad. It's supposed to have a safety feature, and this is one of the primary reasons that I bought it, to stop it discharging the entire load in the 100 amp deep cycle battery. So the paperwork says uh, it's number four if you can uh, read it there but very simply it says uh, complete protection overload against uh, over temperature short circuits high and low voltage which is what this would have been um, the manufacturer sold it with that protection but it doesn't have it buying but I am very impressed with it and I am going to keep it um, let me show you what I've decided to do Okay, what I've decided to do is to hardwire it into the bug out vehicle and that's uh, pretty much where it's going to live when it's on charge and then all I've got to do is unplug it, take it out of the vehicle and it is in effect a mobile inverter, how's that? You know, so it will trickle charge while I'm you know, driving about and running the vehicle and then uh, I can just unplug it and, uh, uh, and take it out. Okay, this is the inverter out of the truck, and uh, off we go for a little walk. It's on wheels, just like a little uh, suitcase, you know, in effect. And uh, really convenient little gadget. I'm uh, still quite impressed with it. Um, let's open the uh, trolley up and just show you the modification that I've made. So on the front there, you can see where I've put my 12 volt um, cigarette lighter socket and that's where my power that's where my solar panel plugs into which goes straight to the positive and negative of the battery and then I've had to fit a uh, isolator switch and again what that does is it cuts the power from the inverter to the battery so in effect when I plug the solar panel in the charge goes straight into the battery um, there is a device on the back of the solar panel that regulates the charge and it won't exceed um, 15 volts and uh, so that, that gives me that I'm working on a uh, wind turbine for it made out of a vehicle 12 volt alternator that uh, again is going to plug straight into the 12 volt cigarette lighter so solar panel during the day and the wind turbine overnight that's my plan uh, and thus hopefully having the 24 hour charge but let's get it open just show you the wiring okay I've just opened up the power trolley for you so look at the wiring inside that I've done very simply a uh, standard uh, isolator switch that's uh, interrupting the the live positive feed so from the positive terminal on the battery into the isolator switch and then out the other side and into the into the power trolley into the uh, thousand watt inverter so very simply once it's fully charged my intention is to uh, switch the isolator switch so that um, it can't uh, drain by itself or um, I, you know hopefully I won't get it out of the uh, truck again uh, having had the little LED light come on and the battery be flat so the isolator key comes completely out and I've just put it on a piece of cord there but that was a uh, fairly robust isolator switch and hopefully um, I've designed out the possibility of being able to, to lose the key you know by attaching it to the unit okay and then obviously the negative from the inverter up to the negative supply on the 100 amp deep cycle battery um, so now what happens is when I plug my solar panel in the power generated from the solar panel goes straight through the cigarette lighter straight into the battery without any uh, need for it to pass through the inverter the inverter will be totally isolated and off while the battery is charging like I say I'm working on a 12 volt um, wind turbine which is going to be made out of a, a spare alternator for the Land Rover I'm going to use that particular uh, alternator because obviously if it breaks down I can just change them over 
Okay, so I think this is how it went flat in the first place. That little LED light that's come on in the trailer and um, been in there for several weeks. So when I've gone to get the power trolley out of the trailer, um, it was completely flat. Now what I had to do in order to rescue the battery was to trickle charge it over 24 hours and I had to uh, go out and purchase a 12 volt battery charger and um, seems to have worked. The battery's holding 12.9 um, uh, volts so um, I think I may well have rescued it um, but let's just show you the, uh, the isolator at work. You know, so what we'll do now is we'll turn the isolator off, take the key out, and a moment later the LED light goes off. So that just ensures that um, it can't come on in the trailer again, which is, uh, which is absolutely what I wanted. And to be able to hardwire it into the back of the Land Rover, to be able to charge it with the solar panel, and to be able to charge it with the wind turbine is, um, I think, as, as good as I can make it. So um, going to keep it, not going to send it back by any stretch of the imagination. I think it's a great little gadget for uh, off the grid mains power. Let me just show you something else on the Land Rover. To contacted a uh, salvage yard locally. I say locally, it was 38 miles away, but um, well worth the visit. What I got was I got a, uh, another good uh, 12 volt battery. And again, I've trickle charged that over the last 24 hours, and that's holding 12.97 um, uh, uh, volts, which I am completely happy with. What I'm going to do is bank these two batteries together. I'm just waiting for a uh, relay switch that I've bought on the internet to turn up, and that will give me the safety required but very simply a positive lead from the positive to positive with the relay box in between and then uh, negative onto the uh, chassis or a good earth and this is what's going to be wired in to power the power trolley in the back the other thing that i got at the scrap yard was a new windscreen i picked up a chip a stone hit it in the snow and uh, then it turned into a crack. A new windscreen for this truck was £190. That was uh, $385. Um, from the salvage yard, I got a, uh, an undamaged windscreen for £30, $45. And I managed to get round to putting that in this morning. And having never done it before, I was really pleased with how it went in. Um, with regards to fitting the windscreen and banking the batteries on this truck all i've done is i've gone on to youtube which is an incredible source of information for just about anything you could imagine and there are in really good instructional videos that you can research on just about anything so i'm uh, completely confident about banking the batteries and having never put a windscreen in before i am completely happy as to how that one went in and like i say 45 dollars 30 pounds so just starting to spend a little bit of money on it. Um, I guess now we've come out the other side of the winter. Now is probably the time to, um, you know, get it straight. Um, that's about it, really. Checked all the fluids today and um, just made sure that it was uh, tickety boo. Too early. I think we can do better Just than a few one things thing, that we? the power trolley could uh, power for you. You know, complete off the grid no remote power. Show. How bad is that? Okay, YouTube, just want to say Happy Easter to everybody from all of us, including Lily, who's just made a beautiful Easter bonnet in preparation for going to church tomorrow. Happy Easter. Any comments? Love to hear them. Back soon.